All right, this is what we're going to be creating today, the sea of gold coins with kind of these mountains in the background and this fog density to make the cavern or whatever we're in make it look massive. And added a dragon for scale. Got him on Daz 3D for like 20 bucks. It's a great website. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is create a landscape. We're going to make this about 2,000 by 100 by 2,000. Bring it up. And this is what we're going to make our sea of coins out of. Now, I kind of like this angle already, so I'm going to create an octane camera. Okay, so let's create our coin. We're going to make a cylinder and make this about mm, 3.8 by 0.5. And there is our coin that we're going to be duplicating. So next, we're going to go to Objects, Octane Scatter. We're going to take our octane scatter, drag our cylinder underneath it, click on the scatter, and then drag the landscape into the surface option and change vertex to surface for our distribution. Now, we can crank up this count to say 200,000. Now we have a whole slew of coins. Let's hit render and see what we have here. Okay, now these are a little big, so I'm going to go into the Octane Scatter, go down to Scale and make these 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. Okay, now let's get our gold material. I'm going to go into Materials in the Octane Live Viewer window, go to Open Live DB. And then in Non-Organic, I'm going to click on Metal. Scroll way down here to gold and download it. Now I'm going to duplicate this gold material. Name one for landscape and one for coin. I'm going to add a normal map onto this coin. I just went into Google Images and typed in um, coin normal map and found this one pretty quickly. I'm just going to drag an image texture down here. Click coin normal and attach this node to the normal. Okay, so that coin material is going to go onto the cylinder and the landscape gold is going to go onto landscape. Applying that gold texture to the landscape just fills in these gaps. We can actually, there's quite a few gaps here, so let's crank up our octane scatter from 200,000 to say 600,000. Now I actually recorded this entire tutorial and edited it and started uploading it with the MoGraph cloner and matrix tools. And it got so clunky around 60,000 count of uh, coins. And we're already at 600,000 here and I can move around. So, Okay, now next we're going to create a random effector in MoGraph. We're going to click on the random go to parameters and for position we're gonna go 0 for X 0 for Y and then maybe 1 for the Y sorry 0 and Z 1 for Y click on the octane scatter go to effectors and drag the random down into it now that 1 might be a little high so let's go to back to the random parameters go to 0.5 that's a little bit better. Now we'll go into rotation and for the P we'll go to maybe 5. Maybe 7. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Alright, I'm going to add a... You can do this just with uh, um, area lights, but I'm going to do it with an HDRI. I use religiously HDRI link from Grayscale Gorilla and I have a HDRI pack here for metal surfaces Pro Studios metal it's just really good for adding reflections to metal so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna rotate it till we find a good look I kinda like that and then I'm gonna create another HDRI environment and make it from primary to visible 
Okay, so now we have our coins. Let's create... Let's go into my camera view here. Let's create some mountains for the background. I'll probably fast forward through this a little bit as I'm placing them, but to start... I'm going to scale way out here. scale this way up. You can just play around with the settings here to find a look that you like. Now you can see here I drug my landscape and it's starting to disappear there in the distance. You can change that by going to edit project settings and going into the view clipping here going from medium to huge and now that pops up and you can see it better. I'm going to keep placing these around until I find a good look here. Alright, I kind of like that look. We can add gold to our landscapes here. You know what? These are showing up a little bit too shiny. It doesn't really look believable that those are coins, so I'm going to see if I can open up my OpenLiveDB material editor here and see if I can find something a little bit rougher. Like this bronze, I think we'll sell it a little bit better. Let's see how this looks. Maybe that's a little bit too brown. There was a brighter one right next to it. Let's try that one. This bronze was a little bit brighter. And I'll just replace this. There, that looks pretty good. I like that a lot. It's a much better look. It's a little bit rougher on the edges, so it looks like these coins are really stacked up there. Alright, so now let's create a fog volume. Objects fog volume. First thing we're going to do is go to the voxel size editor and change this to 100 because we're going to scale this thing up huge and if you have that set to 1 then it can crash your computer pretty quickly. So we're going to scale this up. Pretty large here. Move it around to line up with our landscape. Computer's chugging just a little bit with this volume. And I'm going to hide it from the... Sorry, my dog's coughing if you can hear that in the background. Um, go back down to my camera here and it's pitch black. Obviously, we're going to go into volume, medium, volume, medium, and crank down this density until we can see just a bit better. Okay, I like that. Let's go into the scattering. It's a little gray. I kind of want to give this a gold tint. So let's bring this over here. Maybe move this to here. There, now it's a little bit more of a golden shine. Now we can play around with our camera a little bit. Maybe get a little bit of depth of field in here. I'm going to actually crank up my exposure a little bit in my HDRI. Maybe go into the camera, go to post-processing, add a little bit of glow. Now my dogs are playing. Alright, that looks pretty dang good if I do say so myself. I like that a lot. You can play with the random effector a little bit more. You could even add more coins here, but for our purposes in the tutorial, this looks pretty dang good. And like I said, I got that dragon uh, model from Daz3D.com. It's a great website for some really awesome models that are really cheap as compared to like Turbo Squid or something. Um, the DAS software is a little clunky to use, but once you get the hang of it, it works pretty well and it's easy to export out uh, models to Cinema 4D. 
Alright, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I will see you on the next one.